Well, all right, welcome back to Psychotria Plays. I'm playing Rayman some more. We're in the Menhir Hills. This is uh, day two of recording, so it's a little... Might be a little bit disjointed. Things might be a little bit different. Like totals, I went back and I thought that I missed something in previous level, but not so much. But uh, here are, we are again. The Menhir Hills just got health power-ups. Getting some extra health. And, uh, you know, just really, really digging playing this game for you, you know. It is one of my favorites. It just has such a nice atmosphere and blah 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 and all the all that stuff that I pre Oh, I'm facing the wrong way. Oh god. Oh god. No. Nope. Oh, there we go. I think my controller might be a little bit not, uh... How do you say it? Though? Not, uh, responsive. Whoa. Uh, uh. Oh, hello, butterflies. Yeah, my, my left turn seems to be pretty bad. All my turns are pretty bad. Maybe I just picked a bad controller. Let's see. Just gotta jump off. There we go. Let's see, what do we got around here? I hear, I hear snoring. Robo snoring. He's not quite the wake up call you want. Yeah, so I went back because I thought I missed the charge power-up. Maybe I didn't, maybe I did, maybe I just am not remembering correctly. It's been like maybe four years since I played this. And you know, some games like, you you really only get to play like, you know, you really only remember so much. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Like Ocarina of Time is one of my favorite games ever, right? And I've played it countless times. I've beat it, beaten it more times than I can count. But this game I think I only beat once. So I... still a lot that I don't really remember. There we go. I remember that. Let's see if I can... Whoa! Whoa! No good. Here we go. Well, that's good. Most I already got the, the stuff that counts, so. So now we can go down the stairs. Down the stairs. Ooh, this is a. This is a scene. This ain't a scene. It's an arms race. Like, you, you remember Fall Out Boy and all that, that, that big trend from like 2004, 2005, when all the singers, like, you couldn't like understand what they were saying? You know? Like all their word, like, the misheard lyrics videos were, were the thing. And I remember I hated Fall Out Boy as a, a young teen. I hated it because it, it stood for everything I was against. I was a classic rock kid. I was a cla I, I grew up on the parents' classic rock and oh, I, I was born in the wrong era, man. If I grew up with with the Stones and Led Zeppelin, man, with Zeppelin, motherfucking Zeppelin, and like you know, like oh, they don't write music like they used to. I was, I was one of those those assholes. So. Fall Out Boy was on my shit list because they were, you know, the super popular thing happened at the time. But they had their song, Sugar We're Going Down. And everything, all the words were just like, He's like, you couldn't understand a word of what was being said. And like, not being able to understand a word of what was being said, we played that level and I did not focus a thing on story-wise what was being said. So... Hmm. What is up is I need to get to uh, go into the Marshes of Awakening and go through the secret exit. There's something I need in the marshes. Medicine for my man, Clark. I think that was his name. If it wasn't his name, it is now. 
Clark. Shit. Starting strong. Best foot forward. Alright. I remember when I rented the game. When I rented this way back in the days of rentals. I had, um... I was a Nintendo Power subscriber. And one of the things on Nintendo Power was they would they would have a... Like a writer. Like, like... Like letters to the... To the, to the game experts. And people would ask, how do you get past, like, certain sections of games? And it would just be, like, this one section, you know? They'd ask, how do you defeat the boss on level 5? And, like, that's all it would really be. Ooh, pay attention to this hat. Remember the hat? And the hat of Polocus? You remember? Yeah. I'll get back to the story about Nintendo Power and this. So he must tell us something. He has hidden a precious treasure inside. You can keep it for yourself if you beat me to it. I'll give you a head start, but don't waste any time. If I catch you, I'll show you no mercy. Uh, this wasn't the best done transition, because he goes from there to the back wall. Alright. So now let me get to the point of this. In Nintendo Power, someone wrote in, How do you defeat the Cave of Bad Dreams in Rayman 2? And that's when I, was, I got my first glimpse at it. And this was like, probably the hardest level that I've played in a video game to that point, because it was... It, it's like the difficulty jumps. And the first few levels were like nice and... And a good, uh, good distraction. But this was like the Siri, the Sizz Biz. You know? You just look, look at that. It starts to right off the bat with these timed jumpy things. And that guy comes out and he starts swiping you. Then you tell him swiper, no swiping. Music is very like Danny Elfman esque, which you know this is way past uh, Halloween. But Halloween, I was watching one of everybody's favorite Halloween movies, The Nightmare Before Christmas, and I was amazed to find out that the voice, the singing voice for, uh, for uh, Jack Skelling, Skel Skelling, Skellington, Skellington, his uh, his singing voice was Danny Elfman himself, the guy who wrote the songs. It was good. It was cool little trivia. So next time you're like, hey. Who needs life-saving trivia on The Nightmare Before Christmas on Elm Street? Be like, I do. The Nightmare Before Elm Street. These things give me nightmares. Ah! You gotta be fast. No dilly-dallying. Alright, let's dilly dally a little bit and wait. Cause you gotta know how to how to how to, how to jump. And do 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 this do, do the cool jumping. Things get really hairy around here. Just gotta, just gotta smack them. Smack them with your your globes. Your fist globes. Which has gotta be the the charge shot has to be somewhere. I'm missing it. Oh, there it is. Well that's not the charge shot, but that's the thing I need. I thought it was the cool uh, feature here is you pick things up just by standing next to it. And jump down. Jump down. Jump down. There you go. Hey big guy. Things are about to get intense. Okay, let's go this way. Oh, hello! Get out of here, fuzzy. Uh, all right, we're gonna make make a jump. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, this. Here comes the Hans. 
Oh, Hans. Nope, nope, that's not. Nope, 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 nope. Turn around, turn around. Grab it, grab it, grab it. Ah. Hmm. Let's try it again. It's gotta be a platform that's closer that I could grab onto. Raise it up. Come on, dude, raise the roof. There we go. All right, cool. Got some beautiful lungs. There we go. All right, so this looks like a good, safe spot to wait for now. So why don't you pick, join me? We'll pick it up on the next episode of Psychotry Plays, and we'll jump across these uh, spinning blocks. I'll see you then, guys. Peace.